This is my 7.3 IDI injector diagnostic. Cutting out an injector to see if it cuts the smoke back. Uh, I've already tested it. I figured out which one it is. I'm just going to show it in the video. And if you need to do this to your machine, I hope this helps you out. Start after it's been fired up and run for a little bit is a lot faster than you'll notice it was when I started it cold after sitting for a week. So I'm gonna fire it up, cut the injector out that I think's bad, and we'll show the smoke coming from the tailpipe or not. $258. 60 bucks on Amazon. Guaranteed to be actually made by standard. Get this out of the bag. Always important to take these off. There's a little bit of grease for the threads. Put a little bit of grease on that seal too so it goes in the hole without falling off. <clears throat> Didn't feel like something was right. There we go. In the hole, in the hole. Grab a torque wrench. 35 foot pounds. Everybody says check them twice. Wow.
the way it's pulsating and smoking. I tried to do a day three cold start, but left the door buzzer on and nobody wants to listen to that. So basically this is a after run for about five to eight minutes, somewhere in there, start up. And the smoke's gone on deceleration. That was the big thing because it would blow a huge cloud when you let off the throttle and gear. And now after I'd say closer to eight minutes, it is smoke free back to how it was before a little bit stinky, but it's a 40 year old truck with 53,000 miles that sat for 17 years before I got it. And if there's interest in this truck, I will make a video about the bucket truck itself. It was built by the TVA. It's got a pretty interesting story. Thanks for watching.